August 4, 1967, inside this home in Georgetown, Texas, police found the bodies of a college professor, his wife, and their 17-year-old daughter. Within hours, 15-year-old James Walcott admitted he'd killed his family using this 22 caliber rifle. Walcott told police he hated his parents and sister and claimed he'd been sniffing glue in the weeks before he murdered them. The story sent shockwaves through the small town and made headlines around the country. The next year, James Walcott was tried as an adult but was found not guilty by reason of insanity. Seven years after that, in 1974, he was deemed sane and set free. After that, Walcott seemed to just disappear until a Texas newspaper reporter tracked him down here in the central Illinois town of Decatur, where he's been teaching psychology at Millican University for the past 27 years. Here he is now. His name is Dr. James St. James. He's the head of the psych department at Millican and a student favorite. He's very intelligent. He's almost a genius. He could lecture for hours without notes and he just knows everything off the top of his head. Some people are upset St. James didn't tell the university about his past when he was hired. Decatur City Councilman Jerry Dawson told the local newspaper, quote, if I were a parent and my kids were going to Milliken, that's something I would want to know. The university, though, is standing by St. James, saying, given the traumatic experiences of his childhood, Dr. St. James's effort to rebuild his life and obtain a successful professional career have been remarkable. There are some people that want him to step down. What are, what are your thoughts? I think he should stay. <laughs> He's been a great professor. He has no reason to leave unless he does something here. You know, he has no reason to step down. We tried to contact St. James, who's now 61, at his home and by email, but got no response. Even with his secret now out, the university is expecting he'll be back in the classroom when school resumes at the end of the month. Ted Rollins, CNN, Decatur, Illinois.